the 2022 Ford Maverick with all its packages and with the fact that, you know, building it on the website can sometimes be just a little tricky. Well, I'm here to help. If any of these things have bothered you before, I'm Johnny at Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, and I'm really help, here to help you figure it all out. I'm here to help you decide, you know, what package do you need based on your use. And while really episode three, Phantom, a Phantom package was really actually several Phantom packages. First of all, it was all about how adding FX4 or 4K tow package can really add on quite a bit to the price. It adds about $3,000 because it forces on the all wheel drive. Now, we also talked about a whole lot more in that video. So if you haven't seen it, don't worry, you can finish this one off and go back. These are standalone episodes. Uh, however, you know, the Phantom package was also about what you needed to remove on your Maverick order if you actually don't want your Maverick ghosting you. That's when it just doesn't show up, when it's expected. So definite delays uh, and you're definitely getting ghosted if, you know, you don't switch your XLT luxury package to a 54B. We'll talk about all that in, you know, episode four, A New Hope for the Ford Maverick and for you of course so this is episode four and we will be covering what a new hope is so we're going to be talking about what you need to change on your order but i really want to make sure and just in case you don't click off you know do watch then for all the information please but just to make sure this is urgent you'll get completely ghosted so you know you'll be all back to episode three with a phantom uh, a phantom Maverick, your Phantom will be a, a ghost. It's going to be a menace. It's it's going to cause you problems if you don't remove two things from your order. Don't just assume your dealer is going to remove these things for you. It could just be sitting in their computer system unchanged. So do make sure that you don't have the cargo management system mounted crossbars because they're no longer available. So it's more than just getting ghosted. That's just never going to show up. So that's that's a real menace. So that's episode three, Phantom Menace. Go back and watch it. But you also, I want to do point it out because this is urgent. Make sure you don't have the bed divider because that's no longer available either. So episode four, what are we going to be talking about? Well, we're really going to be talking about getting all this cleared up when it comes to you know, XLT luxury package versus jumping into a Lariat versus a Lariat luxury package. And a big, big, big part of this is, you know, knowing that a base Lariat doesn't come with nearly everything that the XLT luxury package does. So we need to clear this up, I feel. I'm always here to help. I do my absolute best to answer all the questions in the comments section. Uh, sometimes there's weeks where there are a lot of them, but I do definitely put in about an hour of an hour per day or more answering questions. So if I missed yours, I'm really sorry. But hopefully the community does, you know, work to you know answer each other's questions. Uh, I can't possibly at some times answer them all. So if the community chimes in in the comments section, uh, helping to answer each other's questions out, that's just fantastic. That's why I built this channel. I want us to be a community that shares information the bigger the community the more intel we have so in that spirit just hit that like button and please do subscribe to Johnny's car care and reviews because that will make help get the word out get these videos out and it'll also make sure that you don't miss any of the Maverick videos now I am also covering the Ford Bronco I will be covering the Lightning as things progress and the whole brand new Ranger really I cover I'd say about 95% Ford at about 5% other vehicles because for now Fords are exactly what I have you know easy access to I can get my hands on them pretty good and it's where I think I can help the most because I have quite a few connections so let's just jump right in let's now put the pedal to the metal and get right to episode four a new hope for the Ford Maverick and if you follow along some hope for you too for getting your Maverick Let's do this. Now, right now we're building over an XLT because I think it's the model a lot of people are gonna get because of the cruise control. But here's the thing, it also comes with 
I feel really nice mags and that's subjective. So if you don't like them, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can disagree. You can disagree with someone and still be friends. You just got to keep in mind to not attack the person. You can dispute their viewpoints. Now you've got the painted gray grill bar. It's not doing a whole lot for me. I also like the grill on the XL. You've got the power exterior side view mirrors. That I think is useful. And on the XL, the only way to get that is by getting the Copilot 360 package. So very important, don't be fooled. Don't buy an XLT just because you want power mirrors. If that's the only thing you wanted off the XLT, go with an XL and you can get the 360, the Copilot 360 package to have the exterior side mirrors electric. Now, you've got the power locking tailgate though on the XLT. I absolutely love that. That means with your remote, you click and your tailgate locks with the doors of the vehicle from your key fob. And it's nice, the XL actually comes with a key, key fob. Traditionally on trucks, uh, XL means basic. You're putting the key in to unlock and unlock the door. And while well, you get extra hooks in the bed, I don't think that's a game changer, but I've got to mention it. So those are some reasons why you might want to go XL 360 Copilot package, but do keep in mind, Every, it's standard, every Maverick has a basic Copilot 360 package. And that's what I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, episode three. So let's add the Ford, the Ford Copilot 360. It's $650. The details on this. Well, it's going to come with blind spot detection. It's going to come with lane keeping. So lane keeping aid means that when you start to go off, the steering wheel is going to vibrate and it'll ever so slightly help bring you back, not to the middle of the lane, but just give you a little shove in the right direction. And it's so light and not annoying that some people don't notice that it's actually there. I've got this on my Bronco and I'm going to be talking about it in my next Bronco video. So even though it's going to have a Bronco title, if you're interested in the tech package on the Maverick, please go ahead and watch that because I'm going to be talking tires, which relates to the Maverick as well. Uh, you know, what tires to run under what conditions. And we'll also be talking about the lane keeping, which is fantastic in the sense that it's not annoying. The blind spot detection doesn't beep every time someone's going by, uh, like the Santa Cruz that I drove. So keep all that in mind. You also get, uh, you know, the driver alert system. So if you're kind of bouncing all around, it's going to let you know, give you a little alert uh, to remind you maybe to go stop and get a coffee. Now for the luxury package. Luxury package is $2,500, but the Copilot 360 and the XLT luxury package, you can actually get on the front wheel drive. So I, I don't be fooled in a very positive aspect is unlike the FX4 package and the 4K towing requiring all wheel drive, requiring it to cost much more than what you'll see on the build in price. The XLT luxury package, if you add it, actually costs the price you see on the website. It's $2,500. Now let's go check out those details. You have eight way power driver seat. So only the driver seat is electric. The passenger seat is manual, but it's a six way manual seat. You'll have the 400 watt or 110 volt inverter cab outlet. So that's pretty cool. And you've got USB in the rear console. You've got the bed tie down with locking rails. Those are the rails with the little handles that are on the side of the bed. So you can move the handle around based on where you need it. You've got the drop in bed liner. Don't be fooled. Make sure to get the new code. If I recall, that's a 54 B so for the new code and that bed liner will be plastic, not spray in for the luxury Lariat package. Don't worry. And I'll get to that. We'll talk about bed liners and delays, but right now, if you have an XLT, luxury package and you still have the old co code, the 54L, it's a spray in and you're gonna have delays like my personal Maverick that I have ordered. You're also gonna have full size spare included with the Lux package on the hybrid only. You've got also heated everything, heated steering wheel, heated mirrors, 
Heated seats, so anyone in the northern climates or with a bad back might want to consider that. Heated seats can be fantastic for a bad back. You get the key fob with remote start. And here's a don't be fooled section. A lot of people, and it's normal, you read key fob. So you think the XL won't come with a key fob. No, the XL does come with a key fob, but this key, fo key fob has remote start. You get the leather wrapped steering wheel as well as heated. So I'm sorry before I only said heated steering wheel. It's also gonna be leather. You're gonna get LEDs in the box. So nice box lighting, LEDs, light emitting diodes. I always have trouble pronouncing stuff and only when I'm in front of the camera. It uh, goes back to having a little stage fright, I guess, trying to overcome that. And you also have trailer hitch with a four pin connector and the windshield wiper de-icer. So if you only need one or two things on that list, for example, the trailer hitch, do take the time to go down on the website and see what things can be bought standalone. For example, the hitch, don't get a luxury package just because you need the hitch. The hitch is $120. So you want to check that out. So it's $2,500. And if you do get a Lariat, the Lariat, it's a different price and has a whole lot of different equipment. So let's go, go look at that right now. So on the Lariat, you've got the first edition that's gonna be available on the website, but ask your dealership about this. I highly doubt your dealership has an allocation, an allocation remaining for a first edition. So you could be waiting a really long time trying to order that up. So ask your dealer, that'll be dealer by dealer, but for the most part, there aren't any first editions left for dealers to order up. So let's talk about what is left um, and what I've been finding. I speculated about this back in September and August, and I promised I'd keep people updated on the story. The luxury package packages from what I can see definitely have caused delays. The Mavericks that I'm getting at the local dealer that you know I'm getting fed intel on are not. I have yet to see a luxury package go through. But is it worth the wait? That's for you to decide. Is it worth the wait and is it worth the money? Well, is it worth the money? Sometimes that depends on how much money you have. At a certain point, the cost of of things is less when you have a whole lot of it. It uh, carries less value. But let's just go ahead and quickly say that the Lariat, you're gonna get the LED headlamps with signature lighting. All Mavericks have LED headlamps. So don't think that you need a Lariat for the LED headlamps. Those, you know, that's a safety feature. Every Maverick has it. An XL has LED headlamps, but these are signature lighting. They also have a 6.5 inch instrument cluster. So that's the digital, the digital, really nice, full of color screen behind the steering wheel. You get intelligent access with push button start. So intelligent access just means the keys on you, you go up to the vehicle, you put your hand in the, the your fingers and the door handle, it's gonna unlock, you put your thumb on the little lines on the handle and it's gonna lock. So intelligent access and also you could say intelligent locking with push button start. So you push a button, if you push just the button that says start, the accessories will go on and the vehicle won't start. You have to have your foot on the brake. You've got the eight-way power driver seat. You get standard on the Lariat, and that was part of the luxury equipment on the XLT. You got power sliding rear window. If it's not power, who's gonna crawl back there to open it? You got ambient lighting. So that's your ambient lighting, it's inside. You'll have just a bit more lighting, like footwell and whatnot. It's gonna look just a little bit better. Usually door handles, but I haven't had a Lariat at night yet because not a single Lariat has showed up. So a little bit of delay on that, it seems so far, at least in my region. And of course, you get the flex bed with two rear cubby storage. Rear cubby storage, what is that? That's just little boxes at the back of the box. And you, you get dual zone electric electronic automatic temperature control. So simply put, the two people in the front, driver and passenger, each get their own temperature. And for the people in the back, well, it mixes all together. Too bad, so sad. You get the average of the two temperatures. Sorry, kids. Now, let's jump right into that Lariat luxury package. $3,750 US. Is it worth it? Well, this is what it's going to give you. It's going to give you four-way headrests. So the headrest can move. Uh, it works on the Maverick. 
without this. You know, the, the positioning, the head positioning isn't like a 2011 Mustang. You don't need the four-way headrest to be comfortable because it's flat. It's not aggressively advanced as it has been for previous Mustangs or, you know, a much earlier Mustangs, you know, just too low, too small. And, you know, just kind of laid back so it doesn't really work. You've got 400 watt, 110 inverter on the Lariat luxury package. So even if you get a Lariat, you've, you'd think you got every everything from the XLT luxury package on the base Lariat. No, don't be fooled on that. If you want your 400 watt, your plug really in the bed and your USB in the rear console, you need to get a Lariat luxury package for the aforementioned price. So steep, I can't even say it twice. <laughs> Just kidding, it's 3,750. I can say it a second time. You've got your adaptive cruise control with stop and go. So that's awesome. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go means if you step if you set up your cruise control at 35 kilometers, 35 miles per hour, it's gonna stop with traffic and it's gonna take back off with traffic. Just don't forget if the light's red and no one's in front of you, it's gonna go right through that red light, and you're either gonna be very lucky or you're gonna, you know have an accident. So don't rely too heavily on adaptive cruise, cruise control to stop and go. It's to follow traffic. It won't stop for you just because the light's red or there's a stop sign. Despite the name, stop and go. Doesn't stop at stop signs. So bed tie downs, locking rails with two locking brackets. So again, what I mentioned on the XLT, those sliding brackets with the little hook, you get a bed liner spray in. Only one choice. You have nothing to do if you've already ordered this. This is where the available spray-in liner is going. It's going to the Lariat Luxury Package and more reason why I'm quite certain I'm gonna wait longer to get it with my XLT unless I make that switch. But right now, Marie's just so happy in the Bronco. If it takes four more months to get the Maverick, well, we might just have to live with it. At least I can still occasionally get my hands on a Maverick and do road tests for you all. And that's that would have been the only reason that we would have wanted to get the Maverick, you know, two, three months faster. You've got the Bang & Olufsen premium audio with eight speakers. If you're a real audiophile, you're probably really hard to satisfy anyways, and you're not gonna like the sound system. And you probably you don't like any sound system standard in any vehicle from the factory, and you're gonna switch it out anyways. And you're probably also gonna leave comments on the internet saying the B&O on the Maverick is bad. It's not. The stock sound system is good. This is very good. And of course, if your definition of very good is, you know, an incredible sound system that's aftermarket that would cost, you know, two, three thousand dollars. No, it, it's not as good as a three thousand dollar aftermarket sound system. And actually I say three thousand, I'm assuming I haven't put a sound system in a vehicle in, oh, oh I'd say a good 15 years. Um, so maybe prices have gone up and 3,000 is now $6,000. But anyways, if you're used to going with aftermarket sound to, and that's what it takes to make you happy, the Bang & Olufsen very well might, probably won't make you happy. But if you've never modified a vehicle sound system, relatively speaking, this is a good, very good sound system. I really like the sound from it. You also get electric brake boost for the two liter EcoBoost. So when you apply the brakes, even if you're just on the gas, pressing hard on the gas and the turbos were spooled all the way up, well, if you go immediately on the brakes with electric brake boost, you'll still have 100% of your brakes available right off after boosting up. You're gonna get evasive steering, meaning if the vehicle detects that you're gonna have an accident and your adaptive cruise control isn't gonna slow you down in time, it's gonna avoid the accident. You're gonna get heated mirrors, so that's really cool. You're gonna get heated seats, heated steering wheel. You had all those on the XLT Luxury. You're gonna get key fob with remote start. That's a carryover from the XLT Luxury package. Just a reminder, don't be fooled. You're, th that means the Lariat standard, you don't have that. So if you're currently looking at an XLT Luxury package, simply put, don't assume going Lariat for heck, barely any money more is gonna ha give you everything you had on that XLT Luxury. It really, really will not. And I don't want anyone getting fooled and getting a vehicle they're disappointed with. So sorry if I'm talking too long on this. I'm just maybe over worrying uh, for people getting the wrong the wrong model. I think the Ma Maverick's gonna be the right model for a whole lot of people. Love the truck, but there, I, 
I talked about that in other videos. Let's just finish this one up. You've got the lane centering. So instead of just keeping you, you know, my Bronco, for example, does not have lane centering. It has lane keeping. I start to go off and barely ever so slightly it brings me back. Doesn't actually do a whole lot because the system doesn't want to be like a, a really nagging nanny. It's just there to help out a little, but it does vibrate the steering wheel and that always gets my attention. Lane centering though, it's really gonna work to keep you in the middle of the lane, but with, you could say, micro adjustments. This is not an annoying system. You've got LED box lighting, rear parking sensors, side light radio, sync three, enhanced voice recognition, communications and entertainment system. I know it sounds like otherwise you can't speak with the vehicle and give it orders, which hey, that's fun to do but you can do it on all models. You just need an intelligent, a smartphone. Now here's another don't be fooled section or, or, or comment here on the Lariat, at Lariat luxury package. It says eight inch LCD capacitive touchscreen in center stack with swipe capability. You read that and it sounds, you know, if, if your dealer started you off right on a Lariat, or if you're on the website and you assume you probably need a Lariat and you go straight into a Lariat, you could get into thinking that you need a Lariat luxury package when all you really want is the eight inch touchscreen. Every single model has it, but how they write it, eight inch LCD capacitive touchscreen and center stack makes you think, holy smokes, the other models don't have it. But it's that last little part. Often we don't read sentences fully or we don't really Think about the whole sentence, and that's just nat natural. We're all in a hurry. It's the with swipe capability. So really, all it is is adding swipe capability to that touchscreen. They all get a touchscreen. You get 911 assist. Uh, that's you know a sync sync three feature. And here again, they they repeat Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Auto, making you think that the other models don't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and that you absolutely need a Lariat luxury package. I don't want you all overpaying, so don't be fooled. You get those on every single model. You've got the app link, you get the smart charging USB ports, you get the trailer hitch with four pin, wind chilled wiper de-icer. That just means it's a heated wiper. And I wish it just said heated wiper, but that's life. Sometimes we got to complicate things or give things fancy names because, you know, it does describe it, I guess, pretty well, but... Anywho, moving on, you also get the wireless charging pad and don't be fooled on that one. It will never charge as fast as a good cord. A cheap cord, they charge horribly, but the cord that actually now your cell phone company probably no longer supplies and you probably have to buy, but buy the one from your manufacturer of phone and it will be quality and it will charge your phone faster than that pad. So across all this, I really do hope that the don't be fooled comments throughout the video have been extremely helpful. I hope they'll help you get the right model. If you want to know about, you know, drives and whatnot, I've got drive videos on the Maverick. I've got now three or four. Even have one recently done at night and in the snow. So that's a good little, uh, good little play with the front wheel drive to show you that the front wheel drive is actually pretty good in snow. I wouldn't want to go through, you know, six inches of snow with it at very low speeds, but it'll take care of you on the highway. If you've got two, three inches of snow on the ground, that front wheel drive is going to do the trick. And I've tested it in three inches of snow on a hybrid Lincoln. MKZ 2017 and three inches was starting to get almost worrisome, but at one or two inches, there is no issues whatsoever. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it helps you pick out the vehicle or know that the vehicle's not right for you because, well, you never want to find yourself in the wrong vehicle and I don't want that either for you. So I hope I have been helpful. If you found that I've been helpful, if you've enjoyed this video in any way, if it's been informative, please uh, like and subscribe. It helps feed and dress that poodle. And also, if you've gotten this far, just write comment in the comment section, finisher. I'd really appreciate it. Comments help get the videos out to everyone. And more importantly, it helps me know, you know, how many people are actually getting to the end of the video. Do I need to make these shorter, more in-depth? What do I need to do? And if you've got comments on that, please let them rip. Until next time, I wish you all more cars and more power and do hope that you get to put the pedal to the metal if that's your thing. Take care and enjoy.